Hey everybody, Bill Zimmerman from IMW Enterprises. This is going to be a video tutorial on a few new features of Page Exploration Robot. So I'm already on a new WordPress post here. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the Page Exploration Robot settings. Now you're going to notice a few new uh, fields here. One of them is the show time content and another one is the stay on the same page for all next visits. Now you're also going to notice as you select one of these events on finish you're gonna your options are gonna change we just did this to make it easier on you so that so that you know you know which which fields are available for you know for which event on finish you choose so basically these these don't change at all the event on finish redirect automatically so when the timer reaches zero it'll redirect automatically to this URL here uh, show default splash screen and show your own image on finish this is almost the same. Um, if you choose the default splash screen, it will show the default splash screen when the timer hits zero. Now we have this option where if you select this option here, as you can see, the redirect URL goes away. That means that once the timer hits zero, that actually won't redirect at all. It's basically just a, t a countdown timer that's going to hit zero. Nothing's going to happen. I'll show you how that works in just a minute. And if you choose sh choose your own splash screen, this is going to be the same idea. You put in your, sp your splash screen here. If you want to stay on the same page after the next visit, you keep that checked. If you want to redirect, you uncheck that and put your redirect URL. And then we have our show time content feature. This is for if you want to show any content in your WordPress page or post that will show once the the um, the countdown hits zero okay and I'll show you how that works in just a second as well let's start with the stay on the same page for next visit so I'm gonna go ahead and just create a real quick test post for you okay and here's our countdown variable now I'm gonna enable it I'm going to go ahead and choose a specific time and choose 15 seconds. I'm going to show the default splash screen and I want to stay on the same page after the next hour. I'm going to put on cookie here. Okay. So here's the time. It's 15 seconds. Cookie, show default splash screen and stay on the same page for the next visit. I'm going to keep all these customizing stuff, uh, the default, and I'm going to go ahead and publish this. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and view this. Now the countdown is going to run from 15 seconds once it hits zero. I'll show you what this feature does. Okay, now we're at zero. It's going to show the default splash screen. And if we just refresh this page, which I'm doing right now, it shows the same, uh, the same countdown with the default splash screen. Okay. Um, now that'll work the same way if you show your own image on finish. Okay, so you can put in the URL of your splash screen, keep that checked, and instead of this splash screen, it will show your own. Okay, pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and make a new post here, and we're going to show you the other new feature, the time content. Now how this works is we added some new variables. Um, so I'm going to enable this. I'm going to choose, let's just go with 10 seconds. I'm going to expire by cookie. I'm going to show time content. You'll see once I click that, these other um, variables, um, they go away. So I'm going to choose show time content. Now you can see here it says contents enclosed between PR contents and backslash forward slash PR contents here. Um, and then you have the option to hide the counter or keep the counter visible after it reaches zero. So I'm going to keep it a hide counter and um, I'm going to show you how this is going to work. So let's just put some text here. Okay, now let's say I want my countdown to be here. Okay, and now I'm going to put the variable here for the content. Now this is the content I want to show after the countdown reaches zero. Content to show after zero. Okay, and then 
Okay, so pretty straightforward here. This is the regular text that's going to show in the post. Here's our countdown variable. Uh, here is our contents variable, start and finish. And this is the content in between those two variables that will show when the countdown reaches zero. Okay, I'm just going to make sure everything else looks good. It's enabled, 10 seconds. Okay, let's publish this. Now let's take a look. I'm going to view the post. Now the countdown is going to start from 10. This was the text that's already there. And once that reaches zero, that's going to disappear and the content to show after zero just showed. Okay. Now, alternatively, you can also choose to have that counter visible if you just select this. Okay. Pretty much it. Hope you guys find these new features useful. Any questions, problems, please do hit us up at uh, the help desk and we'll do everything we can to help. Thank you very much.